Many students find the concept of the mall difficult to understand. We generally associate a mall with an animal that lives in the ground or a blemish on a person's skin. However, in chemistry, the mall represents a quantity. Hi, and welcome to the Learning Zone. This is Mr. B. In this video, I will attempt to provide a clear definition of them all. October 23rd, 1023 is Mole Day. On this day we recognize that one mole of any substance contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 or 602.2 sextillion atoms or molecules. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 it's called Avogadro's number, although the scientist Avogadro had nothing to do with his final determination. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 is called Avogadro's number because the work of Avogadro led to his final calculation. Avogadro worked with gases and was the first scientist to propose that the volume of a gas at a certain temperature and pressure is proportional to the number of atoms or molecules, regardless of the nature of the gas. Consider gases A, B, and C, whose volume is apparently the same. If the pressure and temperature is also the same, then each container will hold the same number of particles. If the volume of gas B is decreased by 50%, maintaining the same pressure and temperature, then the number of particles will be 50% of the original volume. If gas C's volume decreases to one-fourth or to 25%, assuming the temperature and pressure are the same, then container C will hold one-fourth the original number of particles. The mole is a quantity. A good analogy would be the dozen, where in a dozen we find 12 objects. A dozen eggs will contain 12 eggs, regardless of whether the eggs are large eggs or small eggs. A dozen will contain 12 eggs. A mole contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules. When moving from moles to particles, we multiply by Avogadro's number. When moving from particles to moles, we divide by Avogadro's number. In modern chemistry, the conditions of temperature and pressure have been standardized, where standard temperature will be 0 degrees Celsius, or 273K, and standard pressure will be 1 atmosphere, or 101.3 kPa. The standard volume will be 22.4 liters. The concept of the mole may be expanded beyond gases. In fact, one mole of any substance contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules. Consider the following example where we're given 3.5 times 10 to the 22 atoms of sodium and we're asked to determine the mass of this amount of atoms. To perform this calculation, we may use a mole mass where on the mole map we find four boxes, a box for mass, a box for moles, and a box for particles. In addition, there is a box for volume. When moving from particles to moles, we divide by Avogadro's number. When moving from mass to moles, we divide by the gram atomic or gram form of the mass. And when moving from volume to moles, we divide by 22.4 liters. Each arrow moving away from the mole box is a multiply by the same values. In the case of the practice problem, we were given 3.5 times 10 to the 22 atoms of sodium, we begin in the particles box and go to the moles box. In doing so, we divide 3.5 times 10 to the 22 by Avogadro's number. 
which will equal 0 0.058 mole. And to determine the mass, we multiply, which will equal 1.33 grams. The same calculations may be performed using dimensional analysis. We're using dimensional analysis for the example involving the sodium atoms. We perform the following where we place 3.5 times 10 to the 22 over 1 and multiply by 1 mole over Avogadro's number. Then we multiply by the gram atomic mass of sodium, which is 23 grams over 1 mole. When using dimensional analysis, it is easy to cancel the units, and obviously the units of particles and moles will cancel, which leaves us with units of mass. And once again, the answer will be 1.33 grams. This concludes my explanation of the mole. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Thanks for watching.